YouTube. Uh, welcome to another Dan the Man video. Alright, so first guys, go to the HackChi2 website. Current version right now is 2.11. Alright guys, in HackChi2, I'm going to show you a little test first. So, I already have my list with 664 games now. And I'm going to take off 8 eyes, as you can see right here. So, I'm going to delete the game off that. Delete 8 eyes, yes. Now I'm going to re-add 8 eyes. Just to show you how to add a game. When you initially add a game, it used to not report all the information, like the publisher, the release date. Now it does. So, the only thing you're really missing now is box art. So now we're just going to hit Google. And we're going to click the 8 eyes logo. We've just added 8 eyes to our set. I had a lot of requests of showing people how to do the actual um, NES Classic Mini hack. It's it's really not much of a hack. It's more of just like a connect and uh, go from there, hold in one button, and you're good to go. But uh, just listen to what I have to say. If anything's wrong, feel free to comment below. If I do anything wrong, I will try to correct the video and everything too at a future release date. All right, so you got your hack sheet. Now, at this point, I'm just going to make the assumption that you hit synchronize for the first time. When you hit synchronize selected games with the NAS Mini, this right here, uh, it's going to say connect your console. Now, when you first initially connect your console, you're always going to hold in reset. And you can plug it in first. You're going to hold in reset, and then you're going to give it a second, and then you're going to push power. That's all you have to do. You have to remember just to hold reset when you're turning on the console, not when you're plugging it in. Plug it in regularly. Don't don't try to do anything fancy. Don't try to hold your NES Mini and then hold it reset and then plug it in and then you drop it or, you know, worse. That is the biggest factor, which I think people might be confused on. Anyway, so when you sync it up for the first time, it'll back up your kernel. That's the... If you if just in layman's terms, that's think of it as backing up the brain of uh, the NES Mini Classic. Once you got your list sorted, once you have all your graphics on there and everything, you know you you add more say because it, it just let's just say it initially dumped and you did everything correctly. Once you initially dump your core and everything and it switches it it's going to do something different in the 2.11 version where it's going to basically stop and go again stop and go again stop and go again now apparently this is unavoidable it's for the folders feature so we're going to be stopping a couple of times in this video just to show you how it's done just to show you what we're holding in and everything too so alright so I don't have it connected yet so let's hit synchronize let's see what happens alright waiting for NES mini Please do the following steps. Number one, make sure power button on the NES Mini is switched off. You cannot have it powered on. It's going to screw it up. Don't have it powered on. Double check it. I just glanced over while I was talking to you, and it's not powered on. Okay, uh, reconnect the NES Mini PC via USB cable. Three, hold the reset button and turn on the power switch. After a few seconds, release the reset button. Power LED should not be on. Install driver if it's not installed yet. Now the driver's installed that you have to do initially too, which I did not mention, so there you go. Okay, so now we're going to plug it in right now. There's no fear, there's no anticipation. I've done this like 25,000 times at this point. <laughs> and I think I put about another 10 ROMs on it. I did take off one and use the power pad, world class track me. I don't, I don't think that's necessary. I'm holding in the reset button as we speak. And now I'm turning on the power switch. And after a few seconds, I'm going to release the reset button. Just like that. And it usually kicks over before you release the reset button, which is awesome. So it's just basically saying, oh, you're trying to get into this, you know, I, I think it's called FES mode or whatever. Okay, no problem. So now it's building the custom image with 665 games. So this is going to take a while. Uh, if, at this time, too, I'd like to give a shout-out to everybody that subscribed to me. Uh, really awesome, guys. You know, I appreciate you liking my videos. Um, I I don't know what to say. I, I didn't expect to get this many likes from these videos. So um, I'm going to continue to post uh, retro content. I'm going to continue to post um, information about the NES Mini Classic when it arises. 
and uh, you know, just uh, give comments and critiques on things. I might t post some like old DOS games too at this point, just to keep everybody's um, anticipations up there. I believe. <laughs> Okay, guys, so that's uh, done right now. Um, I'm going to wait till the power LED goes off, and then I'm going to restart the mini. So that is going to uh, conclude this video. And like I said, I will be posting other videos and such. 665 games right now, which is totally awesome. All right, and that concludes that portion of it. Um, like I said, I will post more videos when I uh, think of more content to do. Might do a couple of game videos too, just to show you a couple here and there. So, thank you guys. Have a good one.